Ngano have come so far because by then so many notices of evictions by private developers were so many. We had to join hands. We go to our we go to chief's office. We go to DO so that we can ad advocate for our land. And so far, the notices are 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 narrowing because now nowadays they are not coming. The way I came in Mungano, I was so shy. I could I couldn't even talk to people more than five or six because of no confidence. But nowadays I can I can advocate. Even I can talk to president. Even anybody with confidence because of because of now Mungano. It have taught me how to be a leader and to have self esteem in me. Yeah, now I can advocate anywhere or any. I'm very comfortable because I, we have done so many, even community in 2010, we did a zone planning Madare, by the help of Berkeley University and Professor Ngao of Nairobi University. We have that skills, only papers that we don't have. We, are not, we have not gone to planning school, but out of the help of uh, Professor Ngao, we are we have we are community planners. We can plan our community very well if given chance. We have come so far. We have we have learned a, we have learned a lot. Leadership skills. We have learned a lot, and not we. I I have learned a lot. Now uh, we are recognized by the government. Uh, back there, back then. They were struggling to know who is Mungano. Why are these people calling themselves Mungano? But we came clear, we are here to advocate and fight for our rights. Because we didn't, and much of all, we were fighting how to be recognized. First, to be recognized, we live here in these settlements. Because when you go to profile of Nairobi County, they didn't have our profile. Our services, they, they didn't provide any, they, wasn't, they were not providing any services to us. So, for now, whenever they are planning, they know there are people existing somewhere. Out of us, telling them, we exist in, this, in these villages. And how did we do that? By enumerating ourselves, we, we, take, we take the, the results to them. We say we, say we are 300 or 3,000 or 5,000, and we don't, we have... Uh, four toilets. We have. We don't have access to road. We don't have electricity. Electricity, which is there, is illegal. So, and uh, at least we are seeing things changing. And th at least we can, we can s sit and say we have achieved something. Because now we have road. There is the electricity, which is supposed to be uh, going on, which is funded uh, by the uh, World Bank, and. There before even you could go to our the people who knew us, it's just the area MCAs and the MPs and they used us when they want votes. After that they don't they don't come back to to do the developments. But out of our struggle and going to to advocate so much, it's where we have achieved so much. The movement itself we have come so far now because our leaders they are being recognized by the government yeah, and they offer, uh, our effort is now seen. Mm -hmm.